Welcome to WebStyle Press. In this video, we are creating a simple beginner friendly to do list app using React signals. We will be able to add a task to do, mark it completed, and delete it as well. We are not using use state hook from React in this. Instead, we will handle state using signals. Signals is a performant state management library from Preact. To use it, Install signals in React by using npm install at preact slash signals dash react. This is our app. And this is basic styling, CSS for the app. It handles form elements, styling, table styling, and button stylings. And these are the elements that we will need. Input and button to add the task. And then table to display the data from state. Okay. Import use signal from preact signals react. We have initialized two pieces of state using use signal hook. These are two signals, tasks and new task. Both use the use signal function to manage their state. Tasks is a list that will hold all the to do items. Its initial value is empty array. New task is a string that will hold the value of the new task being entered in the input field. Its initial value is empty string. Okay, tasks value will hold tasks. If it's empty, table should not be displayed. So let's implement a quick check around the table. So if tasks value is greater than zero, meaning if there is task in the list, in the tasks list, then this table should be displayed. Otherwise, it should display a simple message, no tasks to do, enjoy. And now let's handle adding new tasks. To do that, this is the input. And this is the button. Input value will be coming from this state when we will type. So new task dot value will give us updated value here as we type it. An on change event will fire a function to update this value in state. We will declare this function above in a minute. Button on click event will also fire a function that will add the task in the state. Let's create these event handlers. Input change handler. Handle input change will update new task with whatever is typed into the input box. It's receiving the event when we type in this field. From event, we are extracting typed input value, e.target.value, and storing it in the new task state. Here, as its value, new task dot value. Add task on click of this button. Add task will add a new task to the list in this state. So tasks dot value equals to this thing. Here it creates a new object containing the tasks text and completion status and then adds it to the tasks state by using tasks dot value. So this is the previous value tasks dot value from here and then this is new one new object text new task value value that is stored in this state that we just typed and completed false this is key and this will be the value and this is key and this is value so text and completed these are two things that are being added in state as a record then it clears the input value by using new task dot value 
equals to empty string. So its value will be again empty and this input will be cleared. So add the task with this record key value key value and then clear the input box. Now let's display these tasks in the app. So here is the table. Here these records should be displayed. This TR will be repeated. Tasks.value. Tasks.value dot map single task and index. And here key index first record index plus one and this is the actual text task dot text so we are taking each task in the task list and its index then mapping them to the table raw the key attribute helps react identify each raw uniquely index plus one will display the task number for each task starting from one then we are displaying task value, actual text that can be accessed by using task.text. Why task.text? Because we stored it like this in this state. We are adding a new task and creating this object. This is stored. This is key and this is value. This is key, this is value. So text, new text that we are typing and completed initial value false so text tasks text dot text tasks dot value and from inside that task dot text now let's handle task completion and deletion on click toggle task completion and pass the index for the done button and for the delete button on click delete task and pass the index two more event handlers on click handlers so in the loop add on click handlers for done and delete buttons both will fire their separate functions containing index of the task this index will help us in identifying the proper record in this state now toggle task completion Toggle task status. Toggle task completion. Take the index as a parameter. Create a new array tasks.value and call it updated tasks. This array is a copy of the current tasks in the state that is tasks.value. Find the task at the given index and toggle its completed status. If it was true, it will become false and vice versa. Then update the tasks state with the modified updated tasks array, toggling the completion state of the selected task in the original list. Completed is also the key that we use to create a new task. Here, it will be false or true. So we are basically toggling it. If it's false, we are changing it to true. If it's true, we are changing it to false. Here in this state. Also, we need to show this visually that task is completed or not. So this is the task text. We can apply a check here, a style in the loop. If task is completed, then show a line through using CSS. Otherwise, don't. Okay, delete task. Delete task takes the index. It creates a new array called updated tasks, which is a copy of the existing tasks in the tasks.value. Then it uses the JavaScript supplies method to remove one element from the updated tasks at the position specified by the index. The task at this index will be removed. 
By now you know that these are the tasks and we are accessing these by using its value dot value tasks dot values the actual record that we are modifying right so then the state of tasks is updated with the updated tasks array which no longer contains the deleted task it was deleted here by using its index okay instead of splice method we can also use filter to delete the task like if you don't like this I find it a little bit confusing. Splice method. Then we can use filter to do the same. And this filter goes through each task and its index i. The function keeps all tasks where the index i is not equal to the index of the task we want to delete. This removes the task at the specified index. And if you are wondering about underscore here, the underscore is a convention used to indicate that the parameter is a placeholder and it won't be used in the function body. In the context of the filter method, the first argument is the current element being processed in the array. Since we are not using this element in the function, so we can use an underscore to signal that it's a throwaway variable. So it's something that is not used. It's just a placeholder. So we are removing the task here and then we are updating the state tasks dot value with the updated records. Save. All right, let's see. Buy groceries for the week at task and the task is added. Let's delete it and it was deleted. So take out the trash in the morning. Hold on, let's test this. Delete, so both are working. Both methods are working. But I will keep filter. And it's also here commented. So let's add tasks. Rename all variables to confuse the inter. Done. And if we press the done again, it becomes uh, to doable again. Attempt to document code, then give up and label it self explanatory. Fix bug, introduce two more, call it job security. How about that? Search Stack Overflow to find out how to do my job. Debate tabs versus spaces in the office chat. Take a coffee break to actually Google what an API is. Write will fix later in a to do comment. Try turning it off and on again to solve a server issue. Organize a rubber duck debugging session, but forget the duck. And finally, commit an empty update just to keep up the daily commit streak. So let's mark few tasks done. We can mark them as completed or uh, to do. And we can delete these as well. So there you go. Full to do list app using ReactJS without use state hook. What do you think? Do you have anything to add to the conversation? Do you have questions or recommendation? You can use comments section below this video. Okay, I hope it helped. Like, share, subscribe and I will see you in the next video.